absolute bedlam on the Italian island of Lampedusa. Imagine living on a small island of just 6,000 people. Then in one single day, 6,000 male African migrants arrived to double your population. No! Yeah, I don't think this is the kind of diversity they were hoping for. <laughs> Let's play spot all the doctors and scientists. Ten thousand plus mostly military aged young men arrived in the space of a week on an island that measures just eight square miles. <laughs> Migrants are now building roadblocks to prevent police getting anywhere near them. Establishing territorial control over many areas of the island. Lampedusa's <laughs> deputy mayor, Attilo Lucid, led a passionate counter-protest. <laughs> Perché siamo stanchi di accogliere! Siamo stanchi, no, questa non è accoglienza! Questa è una falsa accoglienza! La preduta non può venire! 200.000 immigrati sull'isola! The Italian authorities are responding by not deporting any of them, but by dispersing them throughout the rest of Italy and Europe, including the UK. We are actually in Lampedusa, in the file where the clandestines are in train to be evacuated. They will go to Sicily, in the centres for migrants, and then they will be repartied in the whole of Europe, in France, in the Grand Bretagne. Some will manage to escape and reach their destination, and others will be repartied in an official way, I would say, in all the countries of Europe. Fantastic, can't wait. As these desperate refugees fleeing war and persecution film themselves on iPhones partying it up with female German and French tourists. <laughs> Cultural enrichment incoming. <laughs> Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. I'm not talking about some woo-woo hypnosis technique. I'm talking about our video sponsor, Fume. They look at the problem in a different way. Instead of methods that only temporarily limit the bad habit and may not do anything to eliminate it in the long term, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume turns it into a habit that you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy peasy. Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers lots to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your bad habit. Instead of electronics and vapour, fume is all natural. Instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses all natural delicious flavours. Even more exciting is that fume just sent me their new flavoured cores that have just gone up on the website. Orange vanilla, raspberry lemonade and sparkling grapefruits. Give the old orange vanilla a try here. Mmm. That is smooth. It feels fresh and it tastes more flavourful than you're expecting. Then there's the sheer feel of the thing. Well weighted, perfectly balanced and fun to fidget with. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard. But switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com slash pjw or scan the QR code and use code PJW to get 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code PJW to get an additional 10% off your order. Now back to the video. The police are totally outnumbered as migrants scale fences to escape detention centres. <laughs> Many residents who have never protested before against illegal immigration are saying enough is enough. In recent years I've not bothered to take action on this issue but now I feel instinctively that I have to protect my children because I don't know what will happen to Lampedusa in the future. While others chastise journalists and the media in general for continuing to falsely refer to them as refugees. <laughs> Ieri sera al telegiornale li hanno chiamati profughi, io sono profughi, li hanno chiamati profughi. 
Yeah. Georgia Maloney ran on a campaign to halt illegal boat migration. They called hers the most right-wing government since World War II. They called Maloney herself far right. Over 125,000 illegal migrants have arrived in Italy so far this year, all under Maloney's watch. That's already beaten last year's total of 105,000, and we've still got three months left. If she's far right, what would the centrist policy be? Over a million boat migrants arriving in a year? The left-wing policy? What, over 10 million? Alex Phillips even claimed that Russia and the Wagner Group were behind the mass arrival, asserting she was given intel that Moscow bussed thousands to the Polish border in a coordinated act of warfare, presumably to punish Maloney for cozying up to Zelensky. Reportedly, migrants in Burkina Faso, an ally of Russia, were bombarded with messages about how they'd be welcomed in France with free money, and that's apparently the main reason they gave to French TV as to why they came, which, if true, underscores a key point. Time and time again, mass migration is being used as a weapon to deliberately destabilise Western countries and irrevocably change them forever. But forget Russia. This is all being facilitated by our governments. Gaddafi warned the West time and time again that this would be their fate. Yet NATO toppled him, destroyed Libya, and their hired thugs lynched him on camera. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen sprang into action to supposedly offer a solution for Lampedusa to transfer those arrivals in Lampedusa to other European nations, effectively rolling out the red carpet for millions more, emboldened by the knowledge that the drawbridge is down and they've been invited in. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.